What's up, everybody? Little Big Robots back with a video. Uh, this time I'm uh, looking at something that perfectly fits. I, I guess this is a robot. Yeah, it's totally a robot. It perfectly fits in my channel. This is another Hexagear kit I've been meaning to review. I have uh, five or six kits left um, for my backlog. Of course, knowing me, I'll add to that backlog, but this is the Woodpecker, the Aerial Fighter Woodpecker. Um, Hexagear is a 124 scale line of uh, model kits, but they're a bit more than a gunpla kit. They're more, I would say they're a bit more like, um, I don't know, they're a little bit more of a toy. They're not quite a toy, kind of like a gunpla, but they're, you know, they're a bit more sturdy. And this is a kind of a, a, a a battle suit, I guess you'd call it. Um, whereas some of the other ones you've seen me review are huge, are massive things. This one is literally like a, a you know, an exosuit. So we'll look at that in a minute. Let's, of course, as usual, run through some of the stuff you get here. I wish um, Hexagear would include some English, just a little English. They do on the, on the, you know, the the flavor text and stuff but i just want a little like what the hell is i think this is i could figure it out this was a missing part you could blah, blah blah i didn't care i didn't even notice um but it's as usual with a hexagear kit it's a fun build it's not a super long build but some of them can be a little bit tedious now what's funny about this is i got this and i thought oh I've, this guy this one comes with a uh, a governor the pilot but then i saw somewhere was it this one or the other one where it said in english uh, Hexagear Aerial Woodpecker Aerial Fighter Woodpeckers and Oh, you see it right there. Um, oh, you know what I'm thinking? It's saying here. It's saying here's the woodpecker with the guy, but any of these other additional parts, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I always thought, I was like, you know, it doesn't come with a, a governor, but it does, which I'll go over. Governors or the pilots. They're, those alone are like 25 bucks sometimes, 30 bucks. Very fancy. Uh, little. 124 scale. I absolutely love the scale. I'm very easy to build. Lots of fun. But the great thing about Hexagear is the customization of it. Um, you can do like here. Shows you can do this big. That one would be incredible to build. This giant suit. Look at that. That's so cool. So it's got the, the artwork is always great. I don't think I got a. Um, postcard though with this one i think this size kit you don't get a postcard normally with a large kit you get like a cool postcard and stuff but it literally is like a little exo suit with as with a lot of hexagear it can be not finicky but it doesn't always hold the position it's supposed to hold but it has this cool you can literally see where he just sits there um, there's some details there if you want to put them on the screen it closes up this comes down and snaps I'm, again hard to see in the light of, there we go snaps down like that and the guy is essentially protected what i find really funny is a lot of these kind of exosuits you see i mean he's got what appears to me to be a, a sticky poke thing which would be a close combat thing yet his legs would just be dangling so let's see if i can get him in here i haven't put him in here yet so if i get messed up on the screen uh sorry but i'm looking at the so this is, let's look at the governor for a minute first. Governors are a really cool uh, action figure um, from Hexgear. This those alone, a lot of people enjoy the governors by themselves. They're super detailed and super poseable, but as with a lot of things, they're a bit finicky. Um, this guy here, I didn't notice in the instruction manual not to trim off that first little bit. And so I, I'm gonna have to glue his, you see the knee pad there? I'm gonna have to glue it on this leg, the left leg there, because I didn't notice. But they're super puzzled. We get these really, really cool. This one was funny too because it looks like he has uh, socks and sandals on. So I was telling my wife that he's like a hippie going to like the mall. And let me show you here. It really looks like it when you build the governor. There you go. The little socks and sandals. Look at that. He's putting his, his little sandals right on with those stinky socks that people. Uh, anyway, um, so he's. But other than that, he's a really, really cool. The only problem with governors is as you're posing them and stuff, you will get like loose bits and parts. And as usual, I noticed with this one, I was really sad to see. Now, I haven't built, I've built a few of the more modern governors, but they all have this problem of any adjustment to the hand, and that just pops right out. So this one's not doing too bad, but just, it's very easy to lose those. I don't know why these are all one type of plastic, and the hands are kind of a rubberized. The problem with the rubber, now this one's not too rubbery, so 
But the problem with some of these rubbery kind of parts or rubberized kind of parts is they, they won't hold paint necessarily as good as the hard plastics. So a bit strange there. The hands are not that bad. I'm looking here and noticing though it looks like, no it does. If you if you look at the hand, the joint, let me see, do I have a, uh, let me point with this thing here. So here on the joint, there's, it's two halves of an arm, right? So where the, when the hand goes in the hole there, it actually will cause separate, these two parts to separate. And I can't tell there, I'd have to look in the manual again how to build it, but it looks like, let me a second to focus here. I believe that is a separate part. What I was saying is I was hoping that they would build that wrist as one single joint and then it wouldn't separate. It looks like it's not doing it right now. So maybe maybe they did that. I'll, I'll need to look in the manual. But So the hands, just watch out as you pose it. What I do is I take a good uh, pair of thick tweezers like you wouldn't use for stickers but you use for like picking stuff up and I pose it with that because your big fat dumb fingers like mine will get in the way all the time and you'll just be doing something you'll, and that fist will just fly right off. But they're super posable, super fun to play with. They're, the way they do the posability is funny because you can see how obvious the little joints are and stuff, but then you start playing and you're like, I don't care how obvious it is. Like these guys are incredible. They can do whatever you want, you could imagine. So, I mean, look, <laughs> he's doing some kind of ballet or something. You know, it, they're just, they're known for their posability. They can do really, I, I'm not one who to poses them, to, to pose my stuff on like crazy stuff. I like kind of more normal. Like they're just kind of sitting there, maybe they're in this pilot seat or whatever, but that, the, the, the governor's fantastic. I, I love, and I love the name governor for the, for the, like the, you know, like the main battle unit or whatever. So what I'm going to try to do is get him in a decent position first. Sorry about the blurriness here. I think actually his legs go down. Oop. See, his legs just came off. His foot just came off. Um, and let's make it straight. Let's put his hands out first. So what I should be able to do is get him in that little peg there and I put the little peg in the back I'm gonna have to look away for a minute so if I blur the camera sorry about that let's see if I can get him in there so I'm trying to squeeze him in you see where I'm trying to poke that I don't know if it's hard to see here but I think you might be able to see that right there I'm trying to poke him in there how does he get in there oh geez oh geez well that yep yeah, see now you know why I use the tweezers so let's leave the head off for now. <coughs> Excuse me. I just want to see if I can actually get him to connect to that. Let me push that down. Push that down. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think that's doing it. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so now let's move the arms out. Oh, I had the leg all weird. You can see how delicate it can be. So that's, that's one of my only complaints about hexagears. It can be pretty darn delicate. I think it's out too far. Oh, eh, it's going up okay. Let's leave the head off because I want to close this. See, look, it won't even go that far. So I've got I've got something off there. <laughs> I'm just knocking it to pieces, aren't I? Oh my god. So you can see why Hexagear is it's notorious for really, really cool details, but then you gotta once you get into position, you kind of just have to leave it there. So I'm doing something wrong here. I've got him positioned wrong, but basically his feet should rest on there. I do like this movement here in the legs. It's a really cool movement. And the feet should rest on those little feet part. His little hands will come out here and hold on to that stuff, which I think I can push this up. See the hand? See how finicky that is? And you've got basically him in the suit like that. This will be closed. Um, so I'll have to figure out what I'm doing. In fact, let me pause and see what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, so to keep things live, I'm gonna try to remove that. Just see if he'll first. I'm gonna put his fist back. See, it's a it's a multi-tiered. It's like all these steps just to get his ass in there. So it's a bit it's a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying. It's not too bad though. I mean, it's worth it once you get it going. But this scale is a bit hard to deal with as well. Oops, that goes the wrong way. Put his head back on. The legs. Let's see if I can slide him. Now with that thing not in the way, he won't stay in there properly. But maybe he'll close. I just want to see if he'll close. Sorry again about the blah. Oh, there we go. I just needed to maybe I just needed to take this little mount, his little back mount off. And so his legs would go there. This would come up. Good God. That's basically it. I'm not gonna screw with it too much and make you, you know, regret ever clicking on this video. But it's pretty cool. Once you get it posed and everything, it's pretty cool. I just don't understand why his legs and his arms. Can we not give him a little bit? But it is a, I think it is designed to be a melee, 
you know, close combat thing. So he's got the shield where you can block and stuff like that. And it's designed to be kind of like a mobile, as you can see, it's a, a, called an aerial fighter. So it's flying around, I guess. My, my only question is, is like, how is he protected from, well, I guess maybe he's up in the sky. They just can't necessarily aim and hit his legs. I don't know. Um, but it's not bad. As with all um, uh, Hexagear, you're really getting a set where you can add on, you know, customize, fit stuff. You can take it apart, but you get a, you get something, a model that is chock full, like there's tons of details. So if you ever want to sit down and actually paint a model, this is a really good line to start off with. It's a little more finicky. If you're a new builder, it might be a little harder, um, but just dry brushes, washes on these things look incredible. Um, you know, airbrush, whatever you want to do. I've seen people do really basic stuff on these, and I've seen people do incredibly complicated builds and paint jobs on these, and it always looks wor worth it because once you're done, you don't have the toy look to it anymore. It really starts to look like a proper, quote unquote, real model kit. So anyway, that's kind of a quick look. Um, not my favorite build, but it's still a really fun kit. Um, this is definitely on the scale of the governor. So if you're wanting to build like an army type, these things are really good. They're not cheap. Governors by themselves, 25, 30 bucks at least. The kit, I think overall was 40, 45 with shipping. So it's not a cheap kit, but you're, as you can see, you're getting something that you could tack on uh, to other kits like this one here which I'm just freaking dying to do look you just snap those things on there and he's got a good proper size I mean, in fact look at that well that protects his legs and everything now that's cool looking so <laughs> it's you're really buying into a system as I always say with hexagear so it's totally worth it I hope you go get it uh, if you do let me know or if you already have it let me know what you think about it Fantastic. I would like to see some paint on this sucker, so I might just throw on dry brush just to bring out some of those details because it just, um, the flat color is not that great, but once you get some detail in there, just it would pop. It would just be so incredible looking. So another fun kit from Hexagear. I've got about four left to build for not this year, but next couple months I'll be getting to them. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.